Hey Preppers, Homestead Prepper. I wanted to show y'all uh, the basics of welding. I've got a little bracket here on my mower that has uh, come loose and I want to show you how easy it is to weld. Now some of y'all already know how to do this, um, some of you don't. If you don't know, uh, I recommend that you learn because in the future, welding I think is going to be a critical skill for repairing stuff. You know, in the future you probably aren't going to want to uh, buy new stuff, you probably want to repair what you have and if you can do an easy repair with a welder uh, it'll save yourself a lot of money. Now this welder I have here this is a 1993 weld pack 100 and it uh, is a uh, MIG welder and what I'm using in it is flux cord wire and uh, you can use you can get the bottles and all that, carbon dioxide, argon, and well, aluminum and everything, but uh, I use my oxyacetylene rig for that, and I'll show you all that in a future video. But what you got, I've got here is a 10 pound spool of flux core wire, which I've used up quite a bit of it. Uh, actually, several times it's been replaced. And uh, it feeds the wire through, and um, I, I got into welding, like I said, in 93. I think I paid $275 for this back then. And uh, I don't know what a new one costs today. It might even be cheaper because it's probably made in Mexico or China. Uh, this, of course, is made in USA when we used to make a lot of stuff here. And uh, But I bought this uh, because I needed, I was trying to start a business back then, and I needed a ladder rack for my uh, truck. Y'all probably seen that blue uh, Ford um, that I had in some of my videos. It's got a ladder rack on it. And back then they wanted 200 and fifty dollars for that thing and I, I said man that's a lot of money and, and back in 93 to me that was a lot of money I mean it's a lot of money today but it doesn't have nearly the buying power that it did back then for stuff and um, I decided that I would buy pay for this welder which was 275 or so and I bought some one inch steel tubing and I fabricated a rack myself I think this the steel tubing back then I forgot how many feet I got, but it was $60. Steel was cheap back then. They were just about giving it away. And uh, I was able to construct my own ladder rack. And it's still on the truck, and it still works to this day. And, um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, I don't have the tools. It costs too much money. Well, okay, it cost me a little money to build that rack, but I got the welder. And the next time I did a repair, it paid for itself. And that's what the Homestead Prepper is all about, DIY. And uh, if you're going to do any welding, uh, you're going to need a mask and this one is just a cheapie. I think I paid $22 for it and it's got a number 11 and I like the darker lens. You know, the higher the number the darker it is because uh, uh, those 9's and 10's man they leave flash spots in my eyes so you don't want that. If you see that get a darker, get a 12 or something. Now I, I, didn't, I didn't get the uh, the one that automatically darkens because well it was too much money and well anyway I just didn't need it but uh, uh, you, you, you need a mask and you also need where are they you need some earplugs and the reason I say to get the earplugs is because I had a friend of mine who was doing some overhead welding and one of those hot pieces of metal burned off and went right down his ear canal and it burned a hole right through his eardrum and he said you could hear it sizzle all the way down there and uh, the pain he said was excruciating and uh, to this day when he gets a cold he can hear the air blowing through his ear so uh, like I said I recommend you take some safety precautions and of course even though I'm wearing a hood I always wear safety glasses and uh, well let, let me just show you oh and uh, you probably want to wear some type of gloves now, I don't have the long gloves and and um, I should have on a long sleeve shirt so I recommend y'all have on a long sleeve shirt and also I've got on my work boots and I have my pants are over the the boots you don't want to have them up like this and you well you get a hot piece of metal down there it would it, it might be funny to people around you but it's not going to be funny to you so well anyway let me just show you how easy this MIG welder works here I'm getting started. I'm not even putting on my hood. Put my earplugs in. Okay now. I can't see anything with the uh, hood on so y'all just have to bear with me.
Yeah, I'm just doing a tack weld. Factory did a really crappy job on this tack weld here. See, and it just feeds the wire out. It makes it really simple. This, this is kind of hard to self do this. Just bear with me just a second, please. I have no idea if I got that on there or not. Anyway, you get the idea. Hopefully that came out and it's pretty easy. Now I don't want to weld all the way down this thing because I'll end up biting myself in the butt. But I, I failed to mention what you need to do is take a uh, you take a wire a wire brush and you clean the area that you're going to weld. And uh, you have to hook the negative on to something like that. If you hook it on right here where it's painted, it, it's not going to make a connection. So I usually go to a bolt like that and um, it's on there pretty good and the way a real welder will test his weld is he'll take a hammer and beat it like that if it comes loose then he did a crappy job so that that's good enough for right there um, I also wanted to show y'all and you want to clamp it down I didn't want to do everything because the video would be three hours long I bent this thing right here and just to there we go bent it back and I've got another thing that's bent over here and for those of y'all this is uh, the guard right here if y'all can see how that thing is bent I hit a, a post with it And the way I like to bend stuff back is I like to use this leverage bar right here. This thing, and like I said, you could beat it with a hammer, but I really don't think it's going to do it as well as this thing right here is going to. See, look at that. See, I'm just using just a little bit of effort, and I have bent that thing back. I could never, ever do that. with just that handle right there with this long pole it just makes it so simple that's been repaired Let's see if it'll go up now oh yeah look at that when I park it in my shed now it'll go up so anyway just want to show you all a couple repairs uh, welding is real easy to do don't be intimidated I know there's a lot of people out there they say Oh, well, oh, I can weld, and I weld titanium, and man, I weld some four inch thick steel, and all, you know, hey, hey, you know, if you do it professionally, that's great, but don't be intimidated, it's really something easy to do, and um, you, you need to get into it. This is the Homestead Prepper, signing out.